Welcome back. In this lecture, we're learning what is the Unity game engine. Unity is the most commonly used game engine for the development of mobile games. It's a tool used by many game developers to create and power games. You can build 2D games, 3D games, virtual reality games, augmented reality games, and even non-games. You can build simulations and applications. Some examples of popular games built with Unity are Temple Run, Angry Birds, and Super Mario Run. Unity is considered a 3D, 2D game engine and a powerful cross-platform integrated development environment for developers. It's cross-platform, meaning it can work for different devices, and you can build games for different devices. And it's an integrated development environment, IDE, meaning it is a app where you can build out your games from start to finish. Unity is a game engine, which means it provides a lot of built-in features for building a game. So instead of having to build your game completely from scratch, you can use some of the tools available in Unity, like for physics, gravity, 3D rendering, building 3D objects like cubes, meshes, models, for lighting, like generating shadows, for collision detection, being able to detect when an object has collided with another object, adding forces, movement, taking in user input. A lot of these things are pre-built in Unity, therefore it's a lot faster to set it up in your game. If you did not use a game engine, then it would take a lot more work to build a game because you'd have to build all of that functionality yourself with code. Unity also has an asset store, which is where you can find assets like 3D models, scripts, code, scenes, and even games and templates. So the asset store is very popular. Unity is an IDE, which means an interface that gives you access to all the tools you need for development. Unity also has a visual editor where you can drag and drop objects into your scene and then change their properties like their position, rotation, their scale, their color. Can they have physics? Can they have collisions? Are they affected by gravity? And more. So that is an introduction to Unity. Of course, we're going to use Unity in this course, so you'll get a lot more familiar with it throughout the course. Join me in the next lecture where we will continue our Unity game engine introduction. Welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn how to install Unity. To install Unity, first you need to download the Unity Hub application. Then you can download Unity within the Hub. This is the number one recommended way to download Unity. You could also download Unity directly from the Unity website, but it's recommended to go through the Hub. So to visit the Hub, you go to unity3d.com slash get Unity slash download. This is the URL to access the Unity Hub. The Unity Hub is a download manager where you can manage different versions of Unity. You need to sign up for a profile and then you can download Unity. So I'm going to access that link. You can see it is the download Unity page. So first you want to download the Unity Hub. So click this link, which will download the Hub to your computer. You'll have to double click on the application which is going to be just an extraction. So it will be a Unity Hub setup file. You'll have to actually click on that setup file and then agree through all of the setup steps. In my case, I'm just going to cancel it because I already have it installed. The Unity Hub looks like so. You have several tabs, your projects tab, your installs tab, your learn tab, and your community tab. To install Unity, you go to the installs tab of the Unity Hub. Here, you can install an editor. An editor is what we mean by Unity. So you can click on install editor and you can choose your version that you want to install. So you can choose an official release or a pre-release or an archived. So either one of the official releases or if you want to try the early phase of an upcoming release. Or if you want to find an even older version, you can go to the download archive. So the version that we are using in this course is 2022.2, specifically 2022.2.0A11. So that is the version that you want to find. 
You can use a different version as well, but just note there might be some changes if you do use a different version. So we recommend using 2022.2 in this course to follow along. You'll also notice you have some options for the type that you want to download. So if you're on Windows, you'll see a chip type. If you're on Mac, you'll see different chip type options such as Intel or Silicon for Mac. So if you are on a Mac, make sure you choose the correct chip for your computer. If you have one of the older Macs, you use the Intel chip. If you have one of the newer Macs, you use the Silicon chip. Right, that way Unity will perform the fastest and the best on your computer. So to check what chip type you have, you can go to about this Mac in the top left hand corner of your computer and you can see what type of chip do you have right here. So I can see I have Mac OS Monterey and then the chip type is Apple M1 Pro. If you see Apple M1, so if you see that M1 chip, that means you have a silicon chip. If you see any other word there other than M1, I have Apple M1 Pro. If you don't see M1, it means you have an Intel chip. You have one of the older computer chip types. All right, so you just press install to install the version of Unity that you want. And just like that, it will show up under your list of installs. Then if you want to launch Unity, well, you can create a new project under projects and open it with your Unity editor version. So just make sure you have the correct version that you want specified. Then you can create a new project and it will launch the Unity editor. So we will do that together in the next section. So join me over there. In this lecture, we are going to create a new Unity project. So here I have opened the Unity Hub. In the top right hand corner, I'm going to select New Project. Here we have to select the editor version that we want to use. I will be using 2022.2.0A11. Also make sure that the chip type corresponds to your computer chip. Then we can select a template for our project. We're going to use the 3D template, which is an empty 3D project that uses Unity's built-in renderer. Under project settings, we can set a project name such as our platform game and the location where to save the project. In the bottom right hand corner, click create project and the Unity editor will open. Here my project is now open with the Unity editor. Coming up next, we're going to learn how we can navigate the Unity editor and then we'll add more to this project. Don't forget to save your project and join me in the next lecture. In this lecture, we are beginning our look at how to navigate the Unity editor, starting with the toolbar, which can be found at the top of the Unity editor. On the left hand side, we have signing in where we can access our Unity account. We also have a cloud button to open the Unity services window. So if I click there, it will open up my package manager. Here I can update packages in the project. I also have a button for Unity Collaborate, so I can launch via the Collab icon, Unity Collaborate. Then in the center, we have the Play, Pause, and Step buttons in Game View. So if you play the game, that will launch it from the camera view. You can also pause the game and step through to the next frame in the game. So we can play and you can pause or step through. We also have on the right hand side a button for undoing history. So we can undo actions that we did recently. We also have a search bar where we can search for items and objects in our project, in our hierarchy, in menus, in settings, and more. We also have a Layers tab. This is a drop-down window where we can control which objects appear in the scene view. All right, so we can determine which items we want to be shown and which items to not be shown. We also have a Layout drop-down menu where you can change the arrangement of your views and then save the new layout or load an existing layout. 
So you can change the layout, all right? So for example, there you go, you've changed it. And we can save it if we'd like to, or we can reset all layouts to go back to the default. So that is how you can use the Unity toolbar. Join me in the next lecture where we will continue learning how to navigate the Unity editor. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.